We are at the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport and it is a pretty crazy storm. They have tons of equipment working on it. Welcome to our tropical vacation! <laughs> to come down to uh, South Padre Island. Island, soak up the sun a little bit. <laughs> and it is so foggy and overcast that it's actually kind of rainy. Yeah, so we went and put our rain jackets on because it's legit like hitting water on your face. <laughs> so we figured we'd be prepared. It's kind of windy too. It's, it's a little chilly, but it's no snow on the ground and palm trees, so I'm not going to complain. But... All right, so we just took the free public transit to the turtle place. And... We're checking it out now. What kind of turtle do we have here? Uh, Atlantic Green. Atlantic Green. Oh, we're getting closer up here. California and I picked up a seashell and there was a crab still in it or hermit crab yeah and it like grabbed onto my hand and I had to fling it off of my hand so I'm really afraid that's gonna happen again <laughs> Okay, so today is our first full day on South Padre Island. We didn't have time to do one of these video diaries yesterday because... I had to wake up at 3 o'clock. I woke up at 3.30. We went to catch our plane. We get there and then there's, I guess there's a blizzard in Minneapolis. What we're flying into. What we're flying into. It gets delayed a yeah. little over an hour. And then we were loaded up and, or we boarded, I guess that's the right <laughs> way to say it. We boarded the airplane. And then they're like, oh, we can't leave until 7.40 because they're not letting planes land in Minneapolis. So we like just sat Yeah, a little bit longer. And then they did the de-icer and that took a long time. Then we get to Minneapolis and quickly get to our gate and there's another delay. And then that delay just keeps sliding and sliding yeah. and sliding. And so by the end of the day, what was supposed to be like six hours of flight time was ended up being like a long day of travel yeah. from you we, know, leaving think, our house at uh, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I think we were four hours behind schedule. So we got in at like six o'clock and figured we'd take an Uber. Nope, they don't let Ubers <laughs> pick you up at the airport. But we were able to get a shuttle. It's an hour drive, so a pretty yeah. solid drive. By the time we got here, the, the place we were going to check out, Blackbeard's Cove, Blackbeard's... Blackbeard's restaurant. Blackbeard's <laughs> restaurant, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a restaurant. It's a cove. <laughs> <laughs> it was closed by the time we got here, so we checked out this other place right next to us. Polino's. Wait, do you want to know why he can't see it? <laughs> it's so foggy outside. It's so misty and foggy. Like, it's crazy. Today has been kind of an adventure. Yeah, the bus system here is free, which is great, but trying to figure it out was really hard. We wanted to grab some groceries, and after we went to the grocery store, we <laughs> went to get on the bus. And we wanted to go north, but we knew this one that was coming south would like turn around and go back north. Well, when it gets to the bottom end, it becomes a completely different route. line. Yeah, a different yeah. route. So now we went across <laughs> the bridge to the other town. Went to Port Isabel, yeah. drove all around Port Isabel, and then came back. And <laughs> this, people were getting off and getting back on. Yeah, this lady got back on. And she's like, wait, are you guys just kind of riding this around? <laughs> we're like, I guess we are. <laughs> <laughs> didn't intend to. We went back down to the beach and Shane almost <laughs> grabbed a 
Portuguese man of war, which would sh- shock. I was you. like, oh, is it shell? No, is it sea glass? Cool. <laughs> don't touch it. <laughs> I was like, don't touch it. And I'm like, what? And then I kind of like pushed it with a shell and it was like really <laughs> soft and I was like, ooh, I'm glad I didn't touch it. <laughs> yeah, so there's actually I mean quite a few. Like, yeah, we saw at least the, two or three. We saw four. Oh yeah. <laughs> Some of us saw more than others. <laughs> we saw a cool little bird eating in like the inner tidal area or whatever you call it where the where the waves come in and out. Tomorrow's supposed to be a nicer day, I'm really hoping. So you know how Earlier today we showed you it was just socked in, super foggy. Well, we went to go eat and when we came back out, it was completely clear. So now we're gonna go to the beach because we may be able to see the beach. Here is our tropical vacation. It's uh, not feeling so tropical right now. It is as foggy as it has been this whole time. It's not gonna be a super fun beach day, but hopefully the fog is lit, lifts at least a little bit and we'll be able this afternoon to go out and see the beach. and uh, see how nice it is. It's much less foggy than it was. It's still pretty foggy though. Can't see anything behind us. Yeah. Finally got a beach day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's our first sand castle full with moat and drawbridge. <laughs> you can't draw the bridge up, but. Yeah. So this is the bridge. Let's see. Let's see the bridge there. Kind of cool. That's the first uh, first sandcastle we've ever made together. Which yeah, is, I think it's the first one I've ever made. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, I may have made one with a couple of uh, toddlers once. <laughs> oh, you are seeing this live. The moat is filling. The drawbridge is down. Oh, the moat's draining. 